Hi right, everyone, welcome to this week's video where I'm going to begin the process of painting my Tao Barracuda AX-5-2 So I got this last year for Valentine's Day actually, so it's nearly a year since I got this and I built it up last year but I never uh, painted it because I never magnetised the weapons and I've just magnetised them here, so you have the Borst Cannon, an Ion Cannon and a Railgun sure it's an ion, yeah, pretty sure it's an ion cannon. So I'm going to start painting this uh, base coat's going to be black and then we'll start with the purples. So what we should end up with is something that will look like this and this is an older model. It was painted a few years ago so it's mainly a purple for the, the base coat, black for the, the kind of gun casings and stuff added in silvers. Uh, I use different colours of the squad markings so there's like grey, battle suit markings, blue, green, orange, reds whatever I had and they're highlighted with the uh, it's an electric blue from Vallejo and then battle damage so I'm going to try and get nicer transitions on this because it's a bigger flat piece and I'm going to airbrush it so we'll come back in a few minutes Hi everyone so what we're doing here now is I've just thrown some royal purple from Vallejo Game Colour straight into the airbrush cup I've added in some water from the dropper bottle um, I'm mixing it straight up in the pot and um, what we're going to do then is just apply it all over the model to try and get the first layer of the purple down. Normally this is enough to, uh, with just one coat so I'm just covering everything at the minute and we can go back in and paint the details afterwards. So we'll see you when this is done. Okay guys so I've still got some royal purple in the cup with just whatever's left over from the first layer. I'm now mixing in some model colour purple, this is going to be the first highlight. I'm just mixing straight into the pot, add some water, mix it with the brush and what I'll be doing then is starting to highlight up the bigger armour panels on the model, working towards the brightest points, leaving some of the pure royal purple in the recesses. Okay, so the file for the last airbrush highlight is corrupted so I can't use it and I can't go back to get it so what I done was I mixed Vallejo blue purple or blue violet sorry into the purple mix on the last lot didn't clean the airbrush out or whatever whatever was left in the cup was just mixed straight in with it to get a kind of continuous smooth gradient and that was hit into the higher areas so like the middle of the drones in the back of it near the edges of the wings the the higher points of the armor panels and stuff which you can see here when I'm outlining different armor panels in army painter matte black okay so what we have here is all of the sections on the underside of the barracuda that were painted black the engine mounts engine i suppose jets there's a couple of armor panel pieces on the main hull and just the backs of the drones i painted black just to break up the armor panels now for my tail whenever i'm painting them i use retributor armor it's the citadel color gold and i use that for all of the kind of gyros or knees and there's a couple of the gyro kind of things on the ion guns on the back of the drones they'll be painted in this gold as well okay so next up i have pale gray blue from vallejo model color and i use this on all of my tail models so any of the sections that are, you can see here that are kind of like staggered, it's like three sections stacked on top of each other. The second one from the top is always grey on my tower army. I try to keep it consistent across it to give it some uniform. And then I use the same grey on some of the wing fins to break up the armour panels. Around the drone bays in the back of the barracuda and on the top of the cockpit. Okay, so what I'm using here is Mephiston Red. I use different colors to denote different squads throughout my two army but i just felt like the red would be a nice color to use for like a fighter ace for the army so what we're doing here is breaking up the armor panels a little bit further by giving it a nice base coat of mephiston red going back to one of the base colors that we used vallejo model color purple is now being used to break up the armor panels further uh, when I'm painting the rest of me, battle suits, fire warriors, uh, hammerheads and stuff like that, I use this as well to break up the armour. It just gives it a bit more variety of the purples. Now using Citadel Dark Reaper 
we're going to go and edge highlight all of the black armor panels and kind of engine components that we base coated earlier on in the video so just using the wet palette again as everything else in the video small bit of paint mix it in with the, a little bit of water on the wet palette and then go in and start highlighting with a tin brush okay so what we're looking at here is Vallejo game color electric blue this is used now as an edge highlight for all of the main body purple areas it's kind of given into that synth wave kind of paint scheme and i wanted something different for me tower army when i started out painting them years ago so yeah electric blue edge highlights again on the wet palette and then tinned out and then painstakingly drawn all over the model for highlighting the red panels we've wild brighter red so that's just painted on as a quick edge highlight around the panels with blue violet painted onto the purple panels as okay so what we're going to do now is look at the four colors used to do the blue glow which is starting off with a dark blue of vallejo game color imperial blue mixed with citadel caldor sky followed by game color electric blue and then a small bit of wolf gray just as a final highlight so starting off, uh, the Imperial Blue just goes straight into the airbrush. It's mixed in the cup with a small bit of water. And then we're hitting the engine components. Any of the kind of weapon gun barrels, um, the engines on the back then as well. Once they're done, we're mixing in the Caldor Sky. We're going to hit that in there as well. Followed by the Electric Blue to get a nice pop highlight. And then finally adding in the Wolf Grey. Okay, so what we're loading up with now is Vallejo Game Color Scarlet Red. I'm going to use this on the cockpit lens. The sensor is on the front of the prow of the Barracuda. And there's two, or tr there's three actually, uh, kind of lens nodes on the guns on the back. And we have two kind of wing lights on the side as well. We're just going to hit them with the base color. Next up we're just using Mephiston Red. Mix straight in with the scarlet red for the next highlight layer on the same areas. Okay, so for the next highlight, we're just mixing Vallejo game color sun yellow straight in with the Mephisto and red, and we're going to hit the lights and lenses kind of towards the front or the top and the middle for the cockpit just to give it a different highlight to the armor panels. We still have a fairly reddish yellowy orange mix so what we're doing is we're adding another layer of sun yellow we're going to hit this straight into the middle of the lenses in the cockpit we're going to add in a further bit of sun yellow to kind of lighten the mix we haven't cleaned out the airbrush at this stage we're keeping it all in there so with the second layer then we're going back in kind of a smaller area than the last highlight just to kind of bring it up another layer going to do two coats of that on the lenses and the drones and stuff there just to make sure that they're good going in for a final toward very bright yellow while it's still wet we're kind of blending it on the model through the airbrush and then finally just to make sure it's nice and popped we're adding in a tiny bit of the wolf gray we used earlier for the engine highlights just to give us the final highlight on all of the red bits which will finish it off nicely So this is the end of the painting of the Tau Barracuda. The final thing I done was just with a bit of watered down black paint. I threw on some streaky kind of lines to make it look like it had been hitting the brie or it kind of picked up some, I think it's a slipstream kind of weathering. Just to try and break up the armour a little bit and make it look a little bit wetter without going over the top. So the guns are magnetised, you have your ion gun, it's just painted black and given a bit of a blue glow. The rail cannon I imagine it is and I'm pretty sure this is a heavy burst cannon as well they're all just magnetized so they can just pop in like so really enjoyed painting this it's a pretty cool model I do want to get myself a nice tiger shark because that'll be a lot bigger the drones do move okay that one's a little bit I'll just spin it around here so we have full mobility there on the drones and the guns do go up and down 
and then this little engine thing here I presume it's for speeding or maybe it's for deploying flares that moves as well so thanks for sticking with me for this journey let me know what you think in the comment section down below is this the kind of video you like to see I can do more of them because I definitely have more stuff to be painting so if it is something you'd like to see more of let me know thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos